Well, 75 years ago this week, a specialized group of soldiers trained in Helena faced their first major battle of World War II. MTN's Jonathan Imbarian looks at how the battle built a legacy for the first special service force. On December 2, 1943, hundreds of soldiers from the 1st Special Service Force spent hours waiting on a mountain in central Italy called Monte La Defensa. At the top, 300 feet up a cliff, was a German defense position. The Germans didn't think that anybody could get enough men and equipment up those cliffs to sustain any kind of a battle. But that night, the force made its way up the cliffs on ropes through extreme conditions. It was raining and snowing and foggy. And they had to go up these cliffs uh, absolutely silent because there were, there were centuries up above. After a fierce battle, they pushed the Germans off the summit. It was the first mission for a unique unit. The first special service force was a top secret group of American and Canadian soldiers created for specialized dangerous missions. They spent nine months at Fort Harrison undergoing intense training for winter warfare, night missions, and rugged conditions. It had the terrain and it had the weather, it had the topography and the snow and the cold and the mountains. At the Montana Military Museum at Fort Harrison, there was an extensive exhibit on the force, including a model of Monte La Defensa. Fort Harrison, of course, is the founding home of the First Special Service Force. So what we've done is we've really chronicled their activities here and overseas. La Defensa was the start of six brutal weeks of fighting through the Italian mountains. By January, the force had been reduced from 1,800 combat soldiers to fewer than 500. But they helped clear the way for the rest of the Allied forces to continue their advance through Italy. After they came out of the mountains, everybody knew who the first special service force was and what their capabilities were. The soldiers trained in Montana created a legacy that has continued through the special forces to this day. These men volunteering for what was considered a suicide mission and giving up their youth uh, to basically liberate the world from oppression and that that still exists today. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News. Of the men who served in the first special service force, about 40 came back to live in Montana after the war.